Darren. Darren. Surprise! Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. Uh, uh, welcome to Kit Life. Let's pray. Here's my friend, Noah. Thank you, God, for this day. And that, that the virus, this virus can go away. And I pray that all the churches can open. And I pray that we can... Have a good day in Jesus' name. Now, let's get warmed up with our hands just for fun. Here we go. Oh, bitch up. Oh, bitch Give a little clap. Oh, bitch up. Put them in your lap. Make them spiders. Creepy, crawl them, <laughs> crawl them, <gasps> right up to your <laughs> chin. Open up your great big mouth, ah, but do not let them in. Oh, bitch up, oh, bitch up. <laughs> Give a little clap, <gasps> oh, bitch up. Put them in your lap. Now, let's get out my friend, Vern the Bird. I've got my trusty glove. Oh, Vern, come get on my arm. Ah. Hmm? I can't understand you. Hmm? Ah. Vern, I don't understand what you're saying. Ah. Oh, let me do this. I stress writing my ABCs. I love doing that. And I love singing them. ABC! Uh huh. Yep, yep. Oh, the, oh, that is really cool writing your ABCs, Vern. That's awesome fun. And, um, uh, what else do you do with that? I like to write a worm and then I pretend to eat it. Oh, you actually draw a worm and pretend to eat it? Uh huh. But I like your worm's dinner! Boys and girls, can you feed Vern a worm, please? Please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Vern. Now it's time to find out what's in the mystery box. Yes, the mystery box. It's warm. Silly, silly, Vern. We don't know. What's in there? Nothing. <gasps> There's nothing, but don't you worry because we can make something. Can you get out your mystery box hands <gasps> and say, hit it. <laughs> Mystery box, mystery box, wonder what's inside. Mystery box, mystery box, wonder what we'll find. What are we gonna do? Read a clue, take a guess. We'll find out what it is. Help me, friends. Mystery box. Mystery box. Wonder what's inside. It's warm. Could be. All right. Are you ready to read? I do have to warm up. Okay, go ahead, warm up your reading, boys. <laughs> okay, go ahead. There's something in the box that you nail to someone else. Ooh, something in the box that you mail to someone else. What do you think it is? Could be. Can you guys help me say, poof, it's a worm. You mail worms? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, good guess. Can you help me say poof? Poof. Oh, what is that? Look, it's a ladder. It's not a worm. Sorry, Burn. I think it's too flat to be a worm. You know they're now. <laughs> it is addressed to you. Look. And, uh, oh boy, I love getting nailed. Yeah, and do you know, 
that the reason this is in here is today's Bible story. In today's Bible story, Paul actually wrote a lot of different letters to different churches to tell them that Jesus was alive and that he wanted to be their forever friend. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, it was really awesome. Paul, Paul used his voice and he wrote letters to tell people all about Jesus. Well, I can use my pen. Yeah, you sure can. I can write to my friends far away and tell them about Jesus is alive. Yes, you sure can. And remember, who can believe in Jesus? Who? Everyone. That's right. Jesus died so we could all know him. It's our choice whether we want to receive his friendship, right? Uh-huh. Yep, because God loves us more than we can even imagine, Vern. And are you ready to worship about that? Uh-huh. Let's get our worship on and get to singing. Singing with our voices and our hearts. I love Jesus. Uh-huh. I love Jesus. Yes, you do. Ah, see you later. Bye, Vern. <laughs> Vern, bye. Bye, I'm going to be here. Okay, we will see you later. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time for worship. Jesus that we love him. You know, this is the sign language for Jesus, pointing in your hands like that, like there's nails in your hands. We're going to sing one of my favorite songs, Jesus, We Love You by Mr. Darson. goes like this. Try to sing along with me. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Oh, Jesus, we love you, Jesus, we love you. Let's sing it again. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Oh, Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Can you blow Jesus some kisses with me? We love you, Jesus. 
Thank you for being with us. Thank you for holding us. Hey. Hey, this is my friend, Grandpa. How you doing? Hey. Yep, so Grandpa's gonna help um, introduce the Bible story today. I love stories from the Bible. They are awesome. Oh. Um, can you help me say, Grandpa, wake up. Wake up, Grandpa. Oh, feel a bit tired, huh? You know what? What's that, Grandpa? I should do something to wake up. Oh, well, that's good, yeah. Sometimes we can do things to help us wake up. I, you know what I do? What's something that you do? I like to do the freeze dance. You know, get my body moving. Oh, that's a great idea. So, uh, I'll tell you what, let's let's move this out of the way. Um, give you some room. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so you're gonna do a little bit of freeze dance. Uh-huh, here we go. You sing, I'll dance. Oh, okay, and then when I stop singing, you're gonna freeze? Uh-huh. Okay. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
I spy a mailbox? <laughs> oh, hi friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and I'm ready for a game of I Spy. Can you show me your I Spy eyes like this? Looking good. I think we're ready. I've got the story mail. Our true story is about a man named Paul. Paul believed in Jesus. He wrote letters telling people that Jesus is alive. Some of those letters are right here in the Bible. Paul also traveled to cities to tell people Jesus is alive. One of those cities was called Rome. Rome was a big, beautiful city and lots of people lived there. Do you see a big, beautiful city with lots of people? Look with me. I spy with my little eye a big, beautiful city with lots of people. The people in Rome were very smart and they liked to talk about important things. So while Paul was in Rome, he talked with the people about Jesus. Paul knew that nothing is more important than Jesus. Lots and lots of people came to hear what Paul had to say about Jesus. He would start talking about Jesus when the sun came up early in the morning. Do you see the sun coming up? Help me look for it. I spy with my little eye the morning sun. And Paul would keep talking about Jesus until the sun went down and the moon came up late at night. Do you see the moon? Help me look for it. I spy with my little eye the moon. Paul told the people that Jesus is telling the truth. Jesus is telling the truth when he says he's God's son. Jesus is telling the truth when he says, if you believe in him, you will be his friend forever. Jesus is telling the truth when he says he loves us and will never leave us. Everything Jesus says is the truth so we can believe him. Do you see someone who tells the truth? I spy with my little eye, Jesus. Many of the people who heard what Paul said about Jesus believed in Jesus and decided to follow him. And because Jesus tells the truth, we can believe in him too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus tells the truth, and that we can believe Jesus too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, everything Jesus says is true, and we can believe it. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I believe Manny's telling the truth, so I'm gonna keep looking for the third purple thing. Can you help me? Oh, the C in our clubhouse sign is purple. We found all three. Well, see you next time. Bye! These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31.
Now I want to tell you about how you can know God. You see, God created you to know Him and have a relationship with Him. I'm going to pretend that these Lego people are God and us, even though we know God's not a Lego person or us. Anyways, God created us to know Him and to have a relationship with Him. He created us in His image and He loves us so much. Then something bad happened, you see. Man sinned against God. He made a bad choice. And when he did, sin entered the world. <laughs> I'm sin. Sin is any bad choice that we make. And the Bible says that we have all sinned. We've all done something wrong and that it separates us from God. <laughs> and there's nothing we can do to get to God on our own. We cannot be good enough to get to God. No, you can't get to God. But you see, God did not want it that way. So he made a way that we could know him. He sent his son Jesus into the world as a baby and he grew up to be a man and he lived a perfect life. But he died an awful death on the cross for us, for our sins. But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the dead three days later. And when he did that, he defeated sin. Ah! And the Bible says that if we believe that and receive what Jesus did by asking God to forgive our sins and making Jesus our Lord and Savior, that, do you know what happens? Our sins are forgiven, our hearts are washed clean, ah! and God comes and puts his spirit in us and makes us his children. And we're reunited with him through Jesus. Now, I'm gonna give you a chance to pray with me to receive what Jesus did on the cross so you can know God. Will you bow your heads with me and repeat after me? God, I believe in you. I believe Jesus is your son. I believe that he lived a perfect life and died an awful death on the cross and then rose from the dead. Please forgive me of all the bad things I've done. Wash my heart clean and make me alive on the inside. Your child. I want to know you, God. Teach me to know you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Awesome. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us here at Kid Life. Uh, maybe next time stick around a little bit longer. I promise I don't bite. <laughs> what are you looking at my teeth like that for? It's not that bad. I brushed them. They're not that bad. Okay. Have a good day. See ya. Bye.